This fall at Findlay Stadium, head coach Russ Huseman and the Chattanooga Mocs are defending their third straight Southern Conference crown. Give every ounce of energy you got on every snap for 60 minutes. Rep the seed this fall with the Mocs. Hold on your side and hit it in the backfield. Breaks a tackle, 40 breaks it up. Hit hard, sneeze on his feet, the extra effort, and he's going to go in. Picked off, it's going to go for six. This season, it's all about us. Go play like Chattanooga. Go play like the defending Southern Conference champions. That's what you are. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football with head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Mox, Jim Reynolds. Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds. Chattanooga Mox went on the road last weekend, claimed a conference victory beating Western Carolina in Cullowhee. We'll have highlights of that Mox win on the program today, and also we'll take a look at a little bit of wrestling. Mox Blue Gold match last Thursday at Outside at Chamberlain Field. We'll take a look at that as well, and preview the Mox upcoming game after a weekend of R&R, open weekend, by weekend, whatever you want to call it. Following that, the Mox will take on the Wofford Terriers in an important Southern Conference football game. We'll preview that contest in the next couple moments as well, when Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this. Honoring all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. Ball game. The Mocs of Chattanooga are going to the NCAA tournament. The celebration is on really from the start of the season all the way through. Chattanooga has won it. They've held off the Bears. They've won their fourth straight Southern Conference Tournament Championship, and they're on to their fourth straight trip to the NCAAs. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. We're getting ready to play a team that's, I know the record shows one and six, but they're extremely dangerous. Um, we've got excellent athletes, you know, both offensively and defensively. They can run. I think their quarterback's one of the most dynamic guys in the league. Uh, you know, their running back, uh, Newsom's been a little dinged up, but uh, we know how good he is. Preseason player of the year in the league. Wideouts, great group of wideouts can go get the ball. So we're playing a very athletic team, a very dangerous team, and, and I know Coach Spear will have those guys ready to play, excited to play. It's their homecoming. Uh, so we, we got a big test this week and, and looking forward to it. We just, we told, we, I told them there's, there's good players. They've got good players. And why they're one and six, you know, that's something that they would have to answer over there. But um, I mean, they got they got good players, and in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before you know they, they step up and, and uh, you know a break or two comes their way. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they've had a break, uh, a ball bounce their way all year. You know, they've had penalties at inopportune times. And then they catch a, a, a big touchdown pass. The guy goes over to Wofford defender and, and, you know, for a touchdown, makes a great catch and call back holding. And, you know, those things will kill you. And, you know, all of a sudden you're going, well, what do we got to do, you know, to score points? And but, but, like I said, I mean, that play is not showing up on the stats. But when you watch it on film, I mean, the, the dude – was really impressive going up and getting it over Walford DB, who's really good, and, um, 
And then next thing you know, it's second and 20 instead of a touchdown. Really good, very athletic, throws a great ball. It looks like on film, and we'll see when we get there, but looks like he's got great arm strength. Um, I think he was, uh, what was he, second in the Southern Conference in high jump in, in the uh, Southern Conference track meet. Very athletic guy, uh, can make you miss. You, you, guys, you guys will be impressed, he's a good player. There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. You know, anytime you go outdoors, it's kind of like having an outdoors wedding. You, uh, you keep your fingers crossed that Mother Nature uh, is on your side. But I thought the atmosphere, the, the weather turned out great. Obviously it hasn't rained here and it seems like months. Uh, so uh, we came out good there. It was dry, it was, you know, the weather was perfect. I really enjoyed the fact that there were a lot of families out. Uh, you know, there were kids here, they were, you know, they stopped and got food, they brought it. There were dogs running around, people were playing spike ball and it just seemed like a good atmosphere. Yeah, it was neat to see students stopping and people stopping to take pictures. Uh, really intrigued with what's going on and, you know, if you want to make a presence, uh, you know, to people that you don't normally interact with, then you got to go different places to interact with them. So, uh, you know, I thought overall that that was, you know, it was a great experience for the students and, and the fans walking by. You know, I just think any way that we can create momentum, uh, as my good friend Coit Cooper, uh, says there's no such thing as natural momentum, you create it. So I think in, in any way that we can create momentum, it's healthy for our sport. It brings attention to our athletic department, university. It shows off the community of Chattanooga, so it's a win-win for everyone. The goal, you know, wasn't just to have good wrestling, it was to create a good atmosphere, and I think we accomplished that, and this setting is absolutely perfect to do those things. There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. Ball game. The box of Jack Nugget. Going to the NCAA tournament. The celebration is on for the team that really, from the start of the season, all the way through. Chattanooga has won it. They've held off the Bears. They've won their fourth straight Southern Conference Tournament Championship. And they're on to their fourth straight trip to the NCAA. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Knowing this drive perhaps set the tone against this powerful rushing offense. And just as we say it, breaking loose. They decided to keep the ball on the ground up until this point. As evenly distributed as it gets. And here scrambling for some space and finding a man open downfield is Benefield, and it is C.J. Board who will take it in for six. A quick strike for the Mox in Chattanooga is out front. Rolling to the Western Pinch 
side. Going with out of bounds. Looks like that's going to be a the catch. And the far side moved the chains once more. And while they started this drive, after his carry brings up a third down. And here is Bagley again, down inside the 10 yard line. Bagley with outstanding speed. And if he gets to the corner, watch out. His near side receiver. And they'll run the other direction. And into the end zone is Ricardre Bagley. Bagley fittingly puts the exclamation point on a drive that was marked by his rushing ability. Yeah, it did a good field position throughout the course of the year, but an outstanding first quarter of play. Now Bagley can kind of put himself in position to drop it into another gear once he sees the open space. Look for a hole. And a couple. And here it is. You yeah. called for it. Benefield with the keeper, and he's got a seam. Inside the 30, Benefield one man to get away from, and he'll stumble into the end zone for a touchdown. Chattanooga for the third time finds pay dirt, and this is when they chose. Takes a shotgun snap. His toss for the first down and then some caught. The added dimension for his offense, something else. More space the other way. Again loose is Robertson, and he's down to the five-yard line. Remember, they found a seam for him on the near side for the 50-plus yard touchdown run. Now he's setting up a first and goal. Back to Benefield. Benefield turns and gives another carry to Bagley, and he is into the end zone. Chattanooga up 27-10. Second touchdown run for Bagley on the day. A sign of respect for the ability of Berryman, Man. and he'll have to retreat all the way to the 10. What a booming kick. And yeah. Ford makes something out of it. He's got a seam down the near sideline. Will get by the kicker, one man to beat. Ford tries to tiptoe the sideline, but will step out at the 15. Hello from the right hash. And he nails it. So it is a 31-10 Chattanooga lead at the half. We were at 7-7 with eight minutes They're coming in off uh, their first point of the year over East Tennessee. Loading up, firing deep for Board. He wow. goes up and makes the catch inside the 10. And just to make sure that he held on to it on second effort, Board pops up and corrals it once more. Excellent job locating the football. With, uh, you know, Western Carolina also <laughs> with the zip. Looking for Bagley in the end zone. Touchdown. Able to loft one up, and Chattanooga will add to its lead, finishing up on that SoCon thought time. I was just going to touchdown pass and a big gainer that set up that eight-yard touchdown pass. Well, Chattanooga has impressed us on all phases, and here's the defense one more. Western Carolina going to come away with the football as the big lineman will scoop it up. Near disaster, and we've got a Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, along with the head football coach of the Mox, Russ Huseman. Mox claimed a win over Western Carolina, and the reward is an open date this weekend. Let's go back and uh, score on what? Your first score touchdowns on the first four possessions Saturday. That's a good way to get things started. Yeah, I thought we played really well on offense the whole game. Um, you know, the big scramble and, and find C.J. board down the sideline was huge. That was a big third down play early in the game, but I uh, thought we moved the ball well. Our offensive line played great. Uh, we blocked them up pretty good. So proud of what we did offensively. Also proud special teams. We, we really won the special teams battle. Uh, and then defensively, not, not where we need to be. The offensive line getting some kudos. When you have, I guess, two rushers with over 100 yards, when you get two guys in there, that says something about the O-line a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, they, they played really well, and uh, you know all the way across the board. You know sometimes you come out of there and say, well, he didn't play quite as well, but I think uh, Adam Ross was really pleased with what they did uh, on Saturday. 
in the running backs, I guess, or quarterback running back combination over 100. Tyler Roberson, normally a backup, comes in. He gets over 100 yards, and for the second week in a row, uh, Ricardre Bagley over 100 yards. Yeah, they both played well. I mean, Ricardre's running really well, running hard, um, making the right cuts. Really proud of, of how he's developed here the last two weeks. And then I think our offense did a really great job of, of figuring a way to incorporate Tyler into the game plan. Uh, he practiced all week and um, showed up and, and ha had a really good game for us. He had one run, one touchdown run. I don't know if everyone thought he was going to outrun everyone, but he sure did. You know, he, he, he got a little separation there. Yeah, he runs good. He, I think he was frustrated. I think he got caught earlier in the season by somebody. He wasn't At East Tennessee. Get, yeah. Is that what it was? And he wasn't going to get caught this time. And, and um, just really proud of him. You know, he hasn't had a lot of playing time. Last year he was on special teams quite a bit. This year we took him off because he is our backup quarterback. And, and so he hasn't got a ton of snaps. But uh, for him to come in and produce and help us win a game was huge. Yeah, Tyler has said when he was caught from behind at East Tennessee State, I'll put it this way, his teammates did not let him forget about that. So he said, whatever, that last 10 yards, that was a motivation. But you just have to like his attitude of that guy that's willing to do whatever. Yeah, he's a, he's a quality kid. Um, you know, he, he's, he's all in the program. I, I think our players – appreciate what he does uh, for us and you know sometimes he doesn't get credit for what he does but you know when you got a starting quarterback like Dro um, you know you're going to play him and, and sometimes people get frustrated Tyler doesn't get frustrated he does what he's supposed to do all the time so uh, really excited about him I want you you mentioned the catch CJ board made I, th I thought it was fantastic Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that probably shouldn't have been thrown out that way, but uh, he didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we had it. We actually the, the where the read was supposed to be. That guy was open and that probably was going to be a touchdown. But, um, he, you know, drove through it to him and, and CJ went up and over and made a great catch. Made a play. Guys are supposed to make plays. He made a play. Yeah. Uh, you know, as soon as he as soon as he heaved it there. You know, I was on the offensive headset. I said, what's he doing? And then CJ makes a big catch. And, you know, nobody's happy about they're, – they're happy about the result but not happy about where the ball went on that play. All right, you have a break this weekend. How do you reward players? First of all, coming off a win is always a good time to have an open date, I think. And then you have a week off before you face Wofford. Well, most of the week they're going to do some lifting. Uh, they'll be with Brinks on Tuesday and Thursday. That's uh, a reward or a punishment? That's a reward. Oh, okay. The reward is they get to stay away from <laughs> us and don't have to put a helmet on or shoulder pads on until Friday. And then Friday we'll come back out and practice and give them Saturday off so they can watch football and then come back Sunday. And, you know, Friday we'll start getting into Walford. And, you know, and with an open week, it's just this late in the season, I think you, you could see the last two weeks that we weren't – we were a little sluggish. I think we were worn out mentally and physically. Thank goodness we got those wins, um, you know, because they could have, you know, they could have came and caught, you know, and, and caught up to us. But our guys fought through it, played good enough to win those two games, and uh, and now I think just to get away from us a little bit and, and refresh their batteries, I think it's going to be important down the stretch here. Hard to believe just one more conference game remaining. That's at home against Wofford, then on the road at Alabama. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital. Proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics.